I went from having like a 2.5 GPA to graduating with like a 3.9 GPA. This is this is new for me. So we've stayed in touch and we talk a lot, but I did not know that you came from a family of doctors. So that's interesting. Um, and it's good to know that you don't necessarily have to come from a technical background with parents that are engineers or mathematicians that you can you can build your own path. So then if, if your parents and your family were, were all doctors, what drew you to this field? I mean, how did you first get into analytics? Well, it's, it's interesting. I, I first got into analytics because I was chasing these questions around sports. Um, at a broader level, though, as I've, as I've learned more about medicine, one, I like failed chemistry. I, was, I, was, I, I didn't understand the value of the, the basic sciences. I understood the value of statistics, right, because I could apply that. But unless I was going to become a chemist, I didn't understand why organic chemistry would be very compelling. I also have seen later in life, though, that you know, in medicine, you can help an individual patient at a time. You know, your 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 work doesn't necessarily scale. You can only see cer a certain number of patients in a day, a certain number of patients in a year, whatever that might be. As a data scientist, as a business person, you can make a product or, or you can create a service or do something like that, that you only have to make once and it can touch the lives of millions of people potentially. And the idea of scalability to me is something I picked up in, in business school, but it was also something that was completely novel. And I was like, well, I could do so much more good if I created one really good thing and share it with a lot of people rather than sharing my time individually. There's a cap to how much value I could create there. So that was something that a, a switch kind of came on in my head and was like, well, what types of fields allow me to do that? And the first was essentially like business and computer science because if I have the business knowledge, I can like get revenue for the, you know, get uh, get investment for the product and, and a bunch of other things. In computer science, I can actually build the product, whatever it might be, whether it's a medical device or anything along those lines. Um, I mean, that's kind of how I rationalized, at least to myself and my parents, that I wasn't going to become a doctor. But um, the, the, the real story of how I got into analytics to begin with is just super selfish, me trying to get better at golf or get better at sports. I realized that, you know, from a young age, I wanted to play professional sports. At first it was baseball and then I hurt my shoulder. And then from then on, it was, it was golf. And I, I got to a point, uh, all I cared about in high school was, was just playing golf. I got terrible grades. I somehow got into college barely. Um, but it was in my, my third year of college that I took an economics course and when I took that economics course, you know, you're, you're looking at uh, understanding the world through trends and graphs, and you learn the idea of first, like central tendency, mean standard deviation mode, whatever that, those types of things are. But you, in economics, you also learn about opportunity cost and marginal returns. And to me, that clicked right with my golf game is that, hey, there's a bunch of different areas where I can practice. So I can practice my putting, my chipping, my driving, or my iron play. And some of them I'm going to get a lot better at if, if I invest just any time. And others, I can spend so much time and I'm probably not going to get that much better. And so the, this idea of, of marginal returns, I started applying that to golf. I started looking at and tracking at my performance, looking at the standard deviation across different hole types and these types of things. And I realized I was starting to improve when I was really at that current time stuck at kind of a, uh, a plateau or a roadblock. And so the idea that numbers could give me this power to understand and to improve was something that I hadn't understood from any of my schoolwork previous. I didn't understand how to apply what I was learning. And then I just, I wouldn't say I went crazy, but I caught fire and I realized, oh my goodness, I can apply this to so many other things. And, you know, I think that there was a turning point basically that year I transferred schools and I went from having like a 2.5 GPA to graduating with like a 3.9 GPA. So something about the idea that, hey, this, what I'm learning could be applied just 100% transform my life and sent me on this journey to understand not just my own game, but other people's golf game and other people's performance with analytics. And so I kept chasing this question, chasing this question, and I kept picking up new and new skills because of it. I realized, hey, if I want to build an algorithm that scales anything other than linear regression, I basically 
can't just use Microsoft Excel, I have to use some more advanced platform. And then so, well, if I want to use more advanced tools, I probably should learn coding. If I want to be able to collect data that's really cool, I should also learn this coding thing. Maybe I'll just learn a bunch of this coding stuff and then be able to, to do everything that I wanted to be able to do. So I kept chasing these skills, ch kept chasing this question, and I ended up doing what I do now. Uh, and then I also ended up creating content along the way because in order for me to one, track my own progress, you have to have some sort of documentation. Why not write a blog, create some content? If I want to share anything that I've done or, or tell a story about how I got here, wouldn't it be great if I had videos or something along those lines to, to tell that story as well? So not exactly the shortest, uh, the shortest origin story, but hopefully it was at least interesting and gives some insight into, into all that is, all that's Ken. <laughs>